everyone welcome to my youtube channel Ravella design today i'm going to show you how we are going to make these beautiful crochet spider web bandanas you can use these as a costume during halloween time of course you can wear it in normal times the pattern is very beautiful very easy dear friends i will explain everything in detail in my tutorial look i made in three different colors to show you how they look in each color any color you like you can make this in this tutorial i will make this uh, orange color okay dear friends let's go on how to make this meanwhile please remember to subscribe my youtube channel activate the info bell and if you like this video please leave like remarks and make comments and share my videos for my future video tutorials thank you so much dears let's go on how to make this the pattern is very easy dear friends first of all we are going to make a solid triangle with no gaps and then we are going to embroider these spider webs and we will make a spider we are going to sew up these spiders we are going to make these laces that's all as i told you even if you are the beginners you can easily make it by following my video till the end within this video tutorial i am going to use orange color this color for the main part of the bandana this is cotton color dear friends you can use half acrylic half cotton or acrylic but i'm preferring to use this kind of cotton yarn this is soft soft cotton yarn and for the embroidery part i am going to use this kind of cream color this is also cotton and i am going to use three millimeters hook suitable to the thickness of my yarn we also need a scissors to cut the yarn and we need some stitch markers like this and we need a darning needle to hide the yarn ends we need two colors for the spider white for the eyes uh, black for the main part of the spider in this video tutorial i'm not going to show you how to crochet the spider because i have another video about this now i am sharing the link on the right side upper and i'm also sharing the video tutorial in the description box uh, you can uh, learn how i am making these spiders in that video we are starting with orange color for the main part in the center dear friends i'm taking my yarn in my hand and first of all making a magic ring i am keeping here with my fingers and now i am going to make four chains one two three and four and i'm making yarn over i'm going to make three double crochet in the ring this is double crochet one this is double crochet two this is double crochet three be careful we are crocheting on this two threads like this after making three double crochet i am making two times yarn over and inserting my hook in the ring again and making a triple crochet like this yarn over now i am going to make three double crochet around the same ring making double crochet one double crochet two and double crochet three like this now i am going to make a triple crochet two times yarn over i made inserting my hook in the ring and two by two i will make pull through in three times this is one time pull through second time pull through and third time pull through dear friends the first row is finished what we are going to do we are taking the yarn end in our hand and we are going to pull this we are pulling tightly look there is no gap in the center now we have a tiny triangle the first row is finished now we will start the second row for the second row 
First of all, we are making four chains. One, two, three, four. Turning to the back side, yarn over. You see this first stitch? I mean here. I'm inserting uh, in that stitch, making two double crochet. This is double crochet one, and this is double crochet two. And then we are going to make double crochet till top. I mean a uh, till a uh, triple crochet at top. I'm making one double crochet. I'm making second double crochet. I'm making the third double crochet. Yes, here, this stitch. This is the top. This is the triangle. Now we are going to found the corner of the second row on this top. On triple crochet, we are going to found the corner of the second round. I'm inserting my hook. First of all, making two double crochet, one, two, two times yarn over. I'm going to make a triple crochet as the top of the second corner and yarn over. I'm going to make two more double crochet in the same stitch. This is double crochet one and this is double crochet two. We found the corner of the second round. Uh, from now on, in order not to miss the corner tops, uh, I advise you to put a stitch marker on top of the triple crochet. I'm using a different color stitch marker. I am inserting my hook at top of the triple crochet. Like this, I will never miss the corner tops. When I come to the corner uh, on the upper row, uh, I will found uh, the corner of the round three on the right uh, stitch. I will go on like this. Now I am making yarn over, going to the following stitch, making a double crochet. Yarn over, I am going to the following stitch, making another double crochet, yarn over again, going to the following stitch, making another double crochet, yarn over. Now we came to the place that we made four chains here. What we are doing, uh, I'm inserting my hook at top of these four chains and first of all making two double crochet. This is double crochet one and this is double crochet two. Now as a last stitch I'm making two times yarn over, inserting my hook in the same stitch and making a triple crochet. One moment. I am making a triple crochet as the last stitch of the second round. Yes, the second round finished like this dear friends. We put the stitch marker at top and on the right side there are 8 stitches available and also the same 8 stitches available on the other side. We can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm not counting uh, the triple crochet and then I'm counting the other side 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You can control if you are going on uh, in the right way. Each uh, side there should be equal uh, stitches. For example, 8 one side, 8 other, 11 one side, 11 the other, 20 one side, 20 other. If you see you make uh, the same stitches at both sides, that means you are going on in the, uh, in the right way. Okay, we are on the third row. For the third row, first of all, we are making four chains. One, two three and four and turning to the other side yarn over we are going to make two double crochet in the first stitch I'm making double crochet one and I'm making double crochet two and then 
one by one I'm going to make double crochets till top I mean till the stitch that I put the stitch marker okay I made the yarn over I'm going to the following stitch making a double crochet yarn over going to the following stitch making another double crochet going to the following stitch making another double crochet like this I am coming to top yes I came to top now I am removing the stitch marker because I'm going to found the corner of the round three I'm inserting my hook at top and first of all making two double crochet this is double crochet one this is double crochet two two times yarn over making a triple crochet one two three times pull through and I am putting the stitch marker on the triple crochet in order not to miss the top when I crochet on the upper row after making the triple crochet I am making two more double crochet in the same stitch yes like this we found the corner of the round three from now on we are going to make double crochet till the end like this making double crochet one by one yes we are coming to the end dear friends to the place that we made four chains when I come here I will uh, tell you what we are going to do in this uh, last stitch let's come to end I came to the end of this side now I am making yarn over I'm inserting my hook at top of this last stitch this stitch I mean you know we made uh, four chains in order to go to the upper row I mean this stitch I am inserting my hook at top of this stitch first of all I am making two double crochet this is double crochet one and this is double crochet two I am making two times yarn over inserting my hook in the same stitch and making a triple crochet yes the third round is finished like this I count this side this is 12 stitches I also count this side this is also 12 stitches of course I'm not counting uh, the top stitch they are equal I mean I am going on in the right in the correct way now we are going to make the uh, third row for this reason in order to go to the upper row first of all we are making four chains one two three four turning to the other side yarn over in this first stitch we are making two double crochet one and two yarn over now I will make double crochets one by one till top like this yes like this we are coming to the place that we put the stitch marker dear friends I came to top I'm removing the stitch marker yarn over I'm making two double crochet at top firstly this is one double crochet inserting my hook in the same stitch this is double crochet two two times yarn over inserting my hook in the same stitch making a triple crochet and I am putting the stitch marker on the triple crochet in order to determine the top yes after uh, making the triple crochet I am making two more double crochet in the same stitch this is double crochet one inserting my hook in the same stitch this is double crochet two yes uh, we found the corner of the round four now 
I am going to make double crochets one by one till the end. I am inserting my hook in the following stitch, making a double crochet, going to the following, making another double crochet, going to the following stitch, making another double crochet. Like this, I am coming to the end. I came to the end. There is only one stitch left yarn over i am inserting my hook at top of this last stitch this last stitch is uh, four chains i am making two double crochet firstly on top of this uh, four chains yes and then making two times yarn over inserting my hook in the same stitch and this time I am making a triple crochet and for the round five we are making four chains turning to the other side inserting our hook in the first stitch and making two double crochet double crochet one and double crochet two yarn over from now on we are making double crochets one by one till top the pattern is like this dear friends from now on you are going to repeat always the same pattern we are making double crochets one by one till top I came to top I am removing the stitch marker and first of all I am making two double crochet on this stitch this is double crochet one this is double crochet two and then two times yarn over inserting our hook in the same stitch making a triple crochet yarn over inserting our hook in the same stitch making two double crochet one two meanwhile we are putting the stitch marker on top of the triple crochet we are not forgetting this this stitch i mean Yes. From now on, we are making double crochets one by one till the end. The pattern always repeats at each row. Making double crochet one by one, like this, coming to the end. I came to the end. I'm making yarn over, inserting my hook at top of the last chain. I mean, as to at top of the. Uh, chain four one two two times yarn over inserting my hook in the same stitch and making a triple crochet yes like this one, two, three, four, five rows. We finished five rows. I counted both sides. There are 20 stitches on the left and 20 stitches on the right. Of course, I'm not counting the triple crochet at top. Okay, dear friends, from now on, the pattern repeats each other. At each row, you are going to follow the same pattern and you are going on row by row till you uh, reach up to the enough size for the bandana here is the finished version of the bandana uh, I made black color uh, this bandana now I am going to uh, show you from uh, center I mean from here till top how many centimeters so you can go on according to that yes I'm measuring it it is 20 centimeters dear friends you will go on row by row till you reach up to the 20 centimeters. Of course, the size completely depends on you. If you are making this bandana for a small uh, girl, of course, you are going to make it shorter. Or if you like it shorter, maybe 18 centimeters, 19 centimeters will be okay for you. That completely depends on you. But uh, I made this bandana 20 centimeters from center uh, till top. I measured it now. Okay, 
you are going to go on row by row till you reach up to the enough size for you. I will also go on crocheting in the same way. Later on, I'm going to tell you how we are going to make this embroidery, uh, spider web embroidery on this uh, main part. Okay, dear friends, first of all, let's finish the main part of the bandana. I finished the main part of the bandana. It's been like this. I counted the rows. It is 16 rows. And I measured it from the center. I mean from here till the top. It is 20 centimeters, dear friends, as you see here. It is enough for you. If you are going to make this for uh, adult people, young girls, it is enough. But if you are going to make this for uh, little children, three years, six years, uh, eight years, ten years, I don't know, you should decide about the size of the main part by measuring it, uh, trying it uh, on the girl. Now I am going to make the laces. For the laces, first of all, we are making uh, chains. Yes. This place is the end. For the laces, I will start going on making chains. I am going to make chains 25 centimeters. That completely depends on you. You can also make 20 centimeters. That completely depends. But I will make chains like this uh, till I reach up to the 25 centimeters, dear friends. I will go. I finished the chains. I'm measuring it. It's it's about 25 centimeters. As I told you, that depends on you. 24, 23, or 20, you can make how you like it. Now, I am making one chain. From now on, I will go back to the place that I start the chains. I will go one by one, single stitches. I am going to the first stitch, making a single stitch on there. I'm going to the following stitch, making another single stitch in there, going to the following stitch, making another single stitch in there, going, making another, like this, one by one, we are making single stitches till the end of the chain, dear friends. Okay, let's go on till the place we start. I finished one part of the lace, like this. I came to the place I start, like this. We are here. We will go on making uh, single stitches till the end of the other side, dear friends. Let me show you shortly. Look, I am here. I am making one single stitch here, but this is large. For this reason, I am making one more single stitch. You will adjust the amount of the single stitch according to the length of the uh, stitches. For example, here, this is a, a narrow stitch. For this reason, one single stitch is enough for this. Here, we are making one single stitch. And there is still place for this reason. We are making one more single stitch. Here, this stitch. One stitch is enough for this. Beside this, this is a bit large. For this reason, two single stitch needed for this place. According to that, you are making single stitches here. Making one single stitch. Here, this large place, making two single stitch. The technique is like this, dear friends. After making single stitches, look at your crochet. If it is neatly, if it is perfect for you, you can go on in the same way. But when you see it's been ruffled or it's been large, uh, you will uh, change the amount of the single stitches in these spaces. But uh, now uh, the thing that I showed you is Okay, for a neatly uh, single stitch as the border of this. We are going on till the end by making single stitches as I showed you, dear friends. Okay, let's go on single stitches from here till
till the end and then we are going to make the other part of the lace. I finish single stitches from this side till the end. Now I am going to make the other part of the lace. For this reason, I will go on making chains till I reach up to the 25 centimeters. Let's make 25 centimeters, dear friends. I finished chains. I measured it. It is 25 centimeters as well in the same length of the previous lace. Now we will go back uh, by making single stitches till the starting place of the chains. I mean I am turning back, inserting my hook in the following stitch, making a single stitch in there, inserting my hook in the following, making another single stitch, going to the following, making another single stitch, like this one by one. We are making single stitches till the end of the chains, dear friends. I came to the end of the lace, it's been like this. I am at the end. Now I will finish it, but uh, I'm not making one chain and cutting because here uh, I will fix somewhere in order to get a perfect neatly look like this. In order to make this one, I'm making like this, inserting my hook in this stitch yarn over pull through yes making a slip stitch as you see it's more neatly now making one chain and cutting the yarn okay it is finished there is a yarn end here i am going to hide this yarn end this is the front side i am turning it to the back side i will hide it in the back side with the small size hook. This hook is about um, one and a half millimeters. You can also do it with darning needle, but it is easier and more practical for me. Like this. Okay, that's enough. Now I will turn to the other side, the opposite side, I mean, in order to fix well. That's all. You can hide all the yarn ends in the same way that I am showing you. Cutting the last end. Look, there is no yarn end. There is also a yarn end here. This is uh, long, so we can hide it with a darning needle. I'm going to use this darning needle. When the yarn end is long, uh, it is easier to use darning needle. Since the other yarn end is not so long, I used small size hook. A few times we are going to make pull through the darning needle through the stitches. And then we can cut the yarn. I will do the same thing to the opposite side in order to fix well. One moment. Be careful, the stitches shouldn't be seen in the front side. Look, it's not seen. Since this is the place that we start, I am going to fix it with a knot. It will be better. Otherwise, this center circle can get large later on. For this reason, it is better to make knot. It will be better. Now I am cutting. Okay, dear friends, you can hide all the yarn ends as I showed. This is the front part. We finished the main part of the bandana. Let me show you. It's been really beautiful. If you like, you can use it in this way as well. But I am going to embroider web design on this. It will be more beautiful uh, for especially Halloween time. From now on, I am going to show you how we are going to embroider this web design. We are going to make it on this uh, main part of the bandana. I am using this cream color for the embroider. I am taking my yarn in my hand, first of all. 
I am making a slip knot like this. Now I am removing the hook from the loop. What we are going to do? We are going to embroider all the sides. Yes, all the sides we are going to make this. Let's start from one corner. I will start here, for example. I am inserting my hook in the corner like this. And this is the slip knot we made, putting it on the hook pulling a bit. I am keeping this yarn end in order to fix this on the back side. If you don't uh, put this with your finger, the loop will go out. For this reason, I am keeping pull through. Now I am going to the following stitch here, inserting my hook, make a slip stitch. You are making a loop like this. Don't sew tight, don't sew large, like this. We will go one by one all around this side. As you see, it is really easy. Inserting my hook in the following stitch, making a slip stitch. While making this embroider, you should be careful, you shouldn't keep the stitch uh, very tight. It will be in the same length, it's suitable to the distance of the stitch. Not uh, tight, not loose. If you want a neatly embroider, you should be careful about it. Yes, dear friends, that's all what you are going to do all the side. Let me show you. As you see, how beautiful it is. Look very neatly. We are going to do it all around till the corner. Let's come to the corner first of all. I came to top. On top, first of all, I am going to make a picot. I mean, I am going to make this picot at top. For this reason, I am making four chains. One, two, three, four and inserting my hook through the last stitch last embroider stitch i mean and making a slip stitch after that i will go on embroider till the end of this side when i come to the end turning and i will go on embroider in the same way till the end first of all uh, let's start embroider in this side we are keeping this straight in the back, inserting our hook here in the same place that we made the picot like this. Going to the following stitch, making a slip stitch. Going to the following, making a slip stitch. Yes, one by one, in the same how we made here. I will go on stitch by stitch. like this. Okay, we are coming to the end of this side. It's been like this. I finished this side and also this side. Now I will turn. I will go on making slip stitches in the third size. Like this. One moment. I will turn like this. Stitch by stitch I will go on, dear friends. As you see, it's going on like this. It's been like this. If you want, you can go on making embroider on the uh, single stitch in this part but I want this uh, last uh, border to be seen for this reason I will go on making embroidery uh, below this uh, single stitch I will go on like this till the end I mean 
till the end of this side. Okay, dear friends, let's embroider till the end of this side as well. I finished this side as well. Let me show you here, like this. Now, three sides are covered with beige color embroidery. What we are doing, I am at the end. I am inserting my hook in the place that we start like this. Now I am removing the hook. I am going to take this loop to the back side. I am inserting my hook from back side to front. Taking this loop, I will take it to back. It is one moment. Yes, it is here. Now we are in the back side. I'm making one chain and cutting the yarn. Yes. We are finished with three sides of the bandana. Now we are going to make this border, this border, and this one. I am starting from the center here. I am taking my yarn in my hand. First of all, I am making a slip knot. Removing the hook from the slip knot, taking the bandana, this is front side, I am inserting my hook right in the center from front side to back side and, and then taking this loop on the hook like this, keeping this yarn end with my finger pull through. From now on, we are always going to follow uh, the triple crochet. In order to get a, a straight line, we will always follow the center uh, in the corner. Yes. Let's make a loop. Pattern is same. You should be careful that you will always follow the center of the corner. If you do this, you will get a straight line. Taking the loop from the back. And slip stitch. Look, this is the triangle in the center of the upper row. I am inserting my hook in there. And here I am taking the loop. Now here I am taking the thread on the hook, I will make pull through and slip stitch. Here in the center space inserting my hook, taking the thread on the hook and pull through like this. Okay, the pattern is the same exactly how we made the embroidery here. Look, we made this. Like this, we are going to go to the top, dear friends. Be careful. You are always going to follow this line. The line, the, this is the center of the corners at each row. Follow the uh, triple crochet line like this. And like this, we are coming to the end. I came to the end of this line. Now I am at the end. I will do the same thing. What I am doing, first of all, I am inserting my hook at top. Like this, and then removing the hook. I will take this uh, thread to the back side. Like this, drawing it to the back side. Now it's in the back side, as you see. I am pulling this, it's been like this. I am making one chain and cutting the yarn. Okay, the line in the center is finished. Now we are going to make the lines in the sides. I need two stitch marker for this. If you don't have a stitch marker, then um, you can use some thread, some yarn, but in different colors, because we will uh, use these stitch markers or small yarn ends in order to remark the center. What I am doing, I am folding it like this 
and finding the center here. This place is the center of this site. What I am doing, I am like this, putting a stitch marker in there. Like this, I found this center. I am doing the same thing to the other side. I am folding this, finding the center of this side like this. I am also putting another stitch marker in this. From now on, I am going to make a line from this center to this side. After finishing this from this center to other side, the pattern is the same. Taking my yarn in my hand, first of all, making a slip knot and taking the bandana, inserting my hook in the center to the back side, taking the loop on the hook, keeping the yarn end. Now I will pull this uh, loop to the front side with the help of my hook like this. Okay, what I am going to do, I am going to make a line from here to the other side. If you are in difficulty to this, uh, you can determine the line with a needle if you like. I mean, you can take a needle with different colors of yarn. You are making a knot like this. And what we are going to do, we are going to determine the place that we are going to embroider with the help of this yarn. I am taking a ruler. This is the place that we put the stitch marker. I am doing this. I am making like this in order to get a straight, get a neatly uh, line. Yes, the ruler is helping me about it. You don't have to do this, um, but if you are in difficulty to get a, a straight line, I am showing you this is a way to get the line neatly, straightly. Okay, as you see, I came to the end. Okay, just cut the yarn. We are doing the same thing for the other side. I am putting the ruler like this, making a knot in the edge. from back side to front. Okay, with the help of the ruler, I am doing the same thing. We can cut the rest. Yes, dear friends, from now on we can embroider uh, till the center of this place that we put the stitch marker in a neat way. We have already get this loop, you will remember. One moment, let me make it once again. I'm taking my yarn in my hand, making a loop like this, removing the hook from the loop, I am inserting my hook in the front to the back and then taking the loop on the hook. I am keeping this yarn end and pulling this thread to the front side. One moment, it's a bit tight. Okay, from now on, I am going to follow this uh, black line. front side to back side, stitch by stitch. I will go on. I am going to make slip stitch embroidery. Like this, taking the loop on the hook, 
pull through to the other side inserting my hook it is the same pattern Yes, dear friends, like this, I will go to the other end. When I come to the end, uh, I will make a picot like this. I will show you when I come to this side end. I came to the end of this line. What I am going to do now, I am removing the stitch marker with, because we don't need it. Um, we don't need also this black yarn. I will cut it later on. Okay, I'm inserting my hook in the last stitch, one moment, like this, making a slip stitch. And now I am going to make the picot for this reason. I am taking this to the front side, making a slip stitch uh, and making four chains. One, two, three, four. Okay, I am inserting my hook from the front side of this embroidery like this huh? like this not to the back side only the front uh, stitches I am taking and make a slip stitch I'm taking this uh, loop and now I will take this to the back side okay I am now in the back side making one chain and cutting the yarn it's been like this this side is finished dear friends we are going to make the same thing at this side as well i'm not going to explain because it is exactly the same how we made this let's uh, finish this line in the same way i explained to you here at this side dear friends it is finished like this now we are going to make the other lines for the uh, web design. These uh, lines are straight, but these are not uh, like this. It is a bit uh, curving like this in order to get a nice web design. First of all, we are dividing this side, this side and also this side. Each uh, side will be divided into three parts. For example, one, two, and this is three. We can use stitch marker for this. For example, for the um, web circle, we can start here. And for the other, we can start here. And we are doing the same thing for the other side as well. Taking my yarn in my hand, starting from here inserting my hook to the back side taking the loop on the thread and pull through one moment i will go uh, to the other line but not uh, very straight like very straightly a bit curving you will do it um, checking the lines uh, that you make. For example, let's make the pattern is the same, taking the loop in the back side, pulling it to the other, I mean the front. It's been like this. We can go down in order to get a, a curving shape. A bit down. It's been like this, you see.
Let's have a look. It's been like this. We can now go up. Stitch by stitch, we are doing this. We came to this line. It's been like this. As you see, it's not straight. Uh, it's a bit curving since this is the web. We are going to make this also for this one and also for the other. And like this, we are coming to the end of this part. Okay, dear friends, you can do it um, as I showed you. And like this, let's come to the end of this side. It's been like this. I finished the first row of this uh, half circle. Dear friends, from now on, we are going to make one more, this uh, half circle in the center. As you see, it is not very sharp, very uh, straight. It's a bit uh, curving like this. It's wavy in order to get a nice uh, wave design. You are going to uh, make the same. We also remarked here. You can also make the remark here in order to get this one two three four five six seven in the seventh uh, line you can uh, put it one two three four five six and seven here i am putting a stitch marker in here in order to determine the finishing uh, of this line in the center okay we are starting here and going on embroider in the wavy shape if you are in difficulty to get a nice wavy shape, you can help the needle. You know, we made these straights with um, helping uh, with the help of the needle. You can also uh, make lines, uh, wavy lines with the help of this needle and you can follow uh, beside it. But um, I don't need it. I will make uh, without a, a needle marker. I will start here. I will make wavy lines all around and come back to the end. Look, we are going to make this. Okay, let's finish this one. Uh, the uh, bandana will be finished like this. Uh, the only thing, we are going to sew up these uh, spiders. As you see, I finished all the half circle for the web design. Now the only thing is, I'm just going to sew up a spider. In this video tutorial, I'm not going to show you how I'm making this spider because I have another video and I'm sharing the video tutorial in the description box. I also shared it in the previous minutes uh, on the right side of this uh, screen. I advise you to go to that video and learn how I made this spider. The only thing, I'm going to put the spider on the web and I am going to sew up it with the needle. I am taking the darning needle in my hand with the black thread. I made a knot in the edge. I will sew up. I am inserting my hook from the back side, pull through to the front side. Normal sewing up, dear friends. I sew up the body of the spider. I will also going on sewing up the legs. The legs should be curving to the down like this. I sew up the first leg. Now it is time to sew up the second leg. I will uh, sew up all the legs as I showed you in the first leg. Yes, I sew up all the body and also four legs. I will go on sewing up the other four legs yeah. as well. Yes, I sew up the spider on the bandana. This is the back side of the bandana, dear friends. As you see, I cleaned all the yarn ends. Now I am going to iron this in order to give a neatly 
uh, iron shape. Yes, I ironed it. It's very neatly. When ironing, I am turning back, the, dear friends. I'm pressing the uh, steam on this and I'm shaping it with my hands. I'm not uh, putting the iron directly on the crotchet. Yes, it's been like this. I really love this. It's a very nice uh, Halloween costume for Halloween time. Of course, you can wear it in normal time. You can make it, you can give it to your uh, friends. It is really uh, great. Uh, I will go on sharing this kind of video tutorials. If you like this video, please leave like remarks, make comments and share my videos. Meanwhile, please remember to subscribe in order to support me for my future video tutorials. Thank you so much, dears. See you in the coming videos.